Hello, welcome. I'm going to play a new game today. I actually just started this, but I'm going to uh, start a new game. Okay. So, this is a 2D platformer rogue inspired game. Uh, you just use the arrow keys to move. You can't jump, but you can go up and down ladders. Uh, you can go down levels just by pressing down. Um, if you move left or right, it creates some kind of combat. So I just I hit a teleport trap, and a teleport dart hit me. So I just okay, I just land on a pit trap too. It's a lot of traps. If I press the Z button, I can search. Move my cursor away. I can search, and if I stand still. Can discover things. So on my mini map, I just discovered another trap um, to my left somewhere, I believe. Let's explore to the left. But yeah, this is an interesting. It's a flash game. Okay, found some flies. You just press up on an item to take it. Um, but yeah, if you land on top of an enemy, it's an insta-death. And I think the same thing, if they land on top of you. So you want to really watch out above. And I have a, uh, I do have a minion. I don't know if I mentioned that. That skeleton is my pet, basically. He can die too, I'm pretty sure. Okay, what's this do? Is this a trap? Oh, it's, that's the teleport trap. My bad. Okay, let's go down here. Let's, uh... Let's search. I uh, found nothing. All right. There's often secret passageways. Actually, I think that's what's over here, most likely. You just move right against the wall. Okay, there we go. Destroyed a rat of some kind. I wonder what these items do. So I have an inventory. Flies. Okay, it's a, it's it's armor, so I'm gonna equip that. You just use left and right to uh, equip things. I go here, here, and then press right again. So now it shows I'm wearing flies. Okay, so now I have these flies surrounding me. I just started playing this game, so I'm trying to I'm trying to get used to the controls. But this is another game which I would say is uh, doing something really interesting to the roguelike genre. It's really bending genres, you know. You have Spelunky, which is a 2D ins or a 2D platformer that's rogue, roguelike inspired. But this is much different. This is a different beast, really. I'm gonna search. Found nothing. Okay, I guess this is a small level. So let's uh let's go down to the uh staircase. I press E on the staircase, I go down. Fighting some goblins. Okay. I can land on top of them for a uh, crushing death. Oh, pit trap. Let's do a quick search here. Uh, found five discoveries. That's nice. They'll be highlighted in pink. Whoa, whoa. I don't know what just happened. Oh, I know what happened. I uh, gained a level. Which I think uh, releases some kind of energy explosion. Okay. Oh, come on, goblin. I wonder, I guess my minion died, so that sucks. Should be possible to get a new one, though. Ooh, more flies. I wonder if I can wear more of them. I wonder if I can layer the flies. Let me see. Okay, I have a goblin heart, which I can eat? What happens when I eat? Oh, it restores health. Okay. Does my health restore on its own at all? 
Okay, what if I equip these flies? Can I wear... Okay, I can only wear... one at a time. I can equip it on my minion, though. But... Okay, I'm gonna eat this other heart. Bring my, uh... health to maximum. Okay, let's see what's over here. Goblins. Of course, more goblins. Okay. But yeah, it's a very, uh... This is definitely more rogue-inspired than a game like Spelunky. I mean, you have inventory, you have... You know... Okay, this is probably a secret door. Ooh. Ooh. Level 3. I love this quickening effect. Oh, I found a rune. So runes are used, uh... It's like the primary method to enchant things in this game. You can also use them against enemies, you can use them on your minion, you can use them on armor, you can use them on weapons, and they all do different effects based on based on what you're uh, what you're doing. Okay, there's a trap. Oh, poison dart. Another poison dart. Okay. Some more flies. I don't need flies, but that's okay. So what am I missing here? Is there a... Is there something I can do? Okay. I just realized I'm using two controls at once. Okay. What does C do? Let me see what my, uh, what the instructions are real quick. C, summon minion. X, disarms trap. Oh, okay, I could have, I could have disarmed that trap. Uh, oops, okay. Where's my minion, though? Okay, I think I've seen everything on this level, so let's go in here, press E to go through doors, probably mentioned that already. Okay. This looks like some kind of tough guy here. I want to find a weapon, really, is what I want to find. Those orcs. Those are orcs, apparently. Let me do a little search for traps. Found one discovery. Oh, what is that? I don't even know what that is. I like that I can do this, uh, sort of drop down to insta-kill guys. My health is low, so let me see if I have any, uh, cobalt hearts. Oh, I have a cobalt hearts. Ooh, I have a viking helm, too. Uh, I'm gonna equip that. And, uh, I'm gonna eat the cobalt heart. But yeah, runes are the main thing that you have to identify in the game. Okay, disarm the trap. Keep searching, keep searching. Found nothing. Okay, this Viking helm is pretty badass. Could really use another health item, though. Ooh, yeah! Gained a level. Yeah, baby. Okay, there's the exit. Oh! Teleport trap there. Do a quick search. Okay, 
found another trap. Okay, press X to disarm the trap. What is that? Well, that's probably a trap too. Nope, it's not a trap. All right, we want to go up here. Looks like I have some unexplored area over here. Whoa. This is an interesting dungeon. It seems to morph as I walk through it. Okay, down here. I'd love to find some more items. Now keep in mind, I have barely played this game. I do have a rune. Maybe I should. Maybe I shouldn't use it. Do I have any? Now I can eat it. Should I eat it? Should I enchant something? Should I enchant my my Viking helm? I'm going to enchant my viking helm. So I guess it was a rune of light. So I guess I have more light now. That's always welcome. Can always use more light. So I wonder if these bats, can they actually do damage to me, or are they just, uh... They're just a diversion. Okay, whoops. Okay, there's a trap here. I'm gonna disarm it. Okay. I got my uh got my cobalt heart and my goblin heart. Okay. Eat those. So I guess it doesn't regenerate health on its own. That's how it seems to me. Uh I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I have yet to find on this level. Oh, there's a chest here. Another rune. Okay. Okay, here's some unexplored area. What was over here? Let me do a quick search, see if there's anything I missed. In the, uh, oh. There's one thing. Just a trap, I guess. I'm also interested to see... What was that? What is this area? Let me search around here. Okay, there's nothing here. I guess it's just a cavity in the ceiling. Alright, let's just go in into our next level. I like that I have another tactic to use if, if enemies become too strong for me. Oh, I got an orc heart. Whoa, poison dart. Disarm that trap. Let's do a quick search. Two discoveries. There's a trap here. Disarm that. Oh no, I died by a troll. Huh. Oh 
Okay, let's start a new game then. That was fun. Um, yes, I'm sure I want a new game. Okay, here we go. My minion is back. We're just kind of going to explore this game. Oh. Take a little search. Three discoveries. It's interesting, it discovers areas that aren't even near you when you search. That's still cool. Found this for me. But apparently there's nothing in this room. Okay, let's go over here. There's the exit. So it looks like the uh, dungeon tends to get more complicated as it goes. Bigger. The farther you go, which I think is uh, I think is an interesting technique. You see that in uh, The Binding of Isaac as well. Both of this and The Binding of Isaac are kind of uh, special games in my opinion. Something you don't see often besides traditional roguelikes, but this is, you know, this is something special for sure. Oh, let me search. Is this all there is to it? Found nothing. I guess that's it. Let's go to the next level. My minion. Oh, whoa. Found a rune. Okay, this time I'm going to feed my uh, feed my minion the rune. It was a rune of light. Okay. Disarm the trap. Awesome. Now I'm level two. Do a quick search. Two discoveries. Okay. I think I do have a couple of goblin hearts. Okay. Oop. Ooh, halo of flies. I'm going to equip that. And I'm going to eat one of my cobalt hearts. Disarm that trap. Huh. I can't get through here. That's weird. Let me search. Two discoveries. Oh. That's a... Oh, yeah. Level three. But it's yet another useless room. It is nice to know that searching and disarming traps gives you uh, leveling power, though. So I gotta figure out a way to get over there. I think I have to go up and around to uh, make my way. Oh, so let's let's uh, disarm this trap. Ooh, another item. A mace! Hell yeah. I'm gonna equip that. Found a weapon this time, eh? Okay, look. Still not quite over at that, uh... Yeah, my mace. Kicking ass. Disarm the trap. Oh, it's just a trap, eh? Huh, and this seems to be the exit. This seems to be the exit, doesn't it? 
I think I've seen everything. Let's go to the next level. I love the graphics in this game. The controls in this game are also very smooth. I'm I'm impressed. The animations. Oop. Disarming the trap. Okay. Let's search for other traps and secrets. Found nothing. I'm going to search to the left a little bit more first. As we know, the deeper levels are more complicated. Thus, the mini map has to scroll as well. What's over here? Okay, I've already been over here, haven't I? I haven't been down here yet. Whoa! Okay, I have an orc heart if I ever need it. Gotta remember that, though. I don't want to die like last time. Uh, shall I descend? Let me do a quick search. See if I missed anything around here. Found one discovery and it's over in that direction. Whoops. Ooh, a uh, a chest. A rune. I'm gonna enchant my mace. Let's see what happens. Ah, rune of poison. That was good. That was a uh, a wise decision, I think. Oh. Oh, buddy. I guess that's a uh, teleport trap. I wonder how searching works. I wonder if it's just like a uh, radius of influence when you search. Okay. What's, what's down here? Oh, I've already been down here. Is this a... Oh, no. Am I stuck? Have I found a bug in the game? That's no good. What can I do? Search again. Hmm. What the heck? Well, that's not good. Is there perhaps a secret I can't find? Hmm. Well, maybe I'll submit this video to the developer. But yeah, I'll uh, I'll end the video here, I guess. See if I can figure out uh, what's going on, and I'll start it again if uh, if I do figure it out. But I think I'm I think I'm stuck. <coughs> cool. All right, later, everyone.